you know what? Previous we discussed that general introduction of diary, forming, raising of the cattle, breeding, caring of the animals we called as diary form. Now we will discuss in the diary form what practices, what management practices is taking in the to improve the that to get good profit from that dairy farm what practices what steps we are following the first one is it's very very important in the dairy farming that is select select the good quality of breed superior cows that is once we are constructing the dairy farm in this dairy farm, we are introducing improved quality of cows. That is, improved, improved cows. What is the improved cows? Improved cattle means, this improved cows provide good quality of milk. Quality and quantity of milk is produced by that improved cows. That we call as superior, superior cows. And another, these cows with the disease resistant, that is a resistant breeds. Disease resistant breeds. Once we are mentioning this dairy form, good quality of cow that is high quantity high amount of milk production with the quality milk and also this is resistant varieties we are introduced in the dairy farm we get we can get good profit from the cows second what steps we are following in this dairy farming that is a dairy farm house 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 constructing type well, well housed with ventilation. Ventilation. It's very very important step. It's house good. Construction that is constructing with ventilation is good. We maintain the disease free condition in the inside. That's why well housed with ventilation. Next, third step. Adequate amount of water. Adequate amount of water. Adequate amount of water. That is clean water. Clean means mineral water. No. Without my probes, we provide clean water, required amount of water is provided to the cattle in the dairy farm. It's a very important step. Next, feeding, feeding with scientific manner, scientific manner. What is the meaning of scientific manner? That is, feed to the cattle what type of feed we are providing that is the food what type of food materials we are providing to the cattle what you call that food it's what type of feed provided to the cattle in the dairy farm with the scientific matter means proper amount of cellulogic and concentrate food oil cake protein food that the quantity that is balanced diet, proper food to be provided to the cattle, we can get a good profit, good milk production from the cattle. If you provide the food soup, that is proper food, that much of yield also coming from the cow. Next, another one, stringent cleanliness, stringent Cleanliness. What is the stringent cleanliness? 
means in the dairy farm stringent strictly cleanliness is the clean is there it's a uh, avoid some microorganism that's why this is free condition is uh, observed in the inside if we know cleanliness the cows are suffered with many infections yield will be reduced that's why stringent cleanliness is the very important it's maintain hygienic condition hygienic condition in the house that is the daily form next another one provide proper record provide proper record what is the record how many organisms we are introducing how many is affected with the disease and other how many how much milk is today produced how many liters of protein how much we are transported everything we maintain the one record it's very important step in the dairy farm we can get good profit that's why record maintain in the dairy farm it's very important step second periodical supervision by veterinary doctor veterinary doctor periodically supervision by veterinary doctor regularly check up like regularly checked by the veterinary doctor means maybe some is affected with the disease that's why what type of disease what medicine will provide we can isolate the animal everything it's a supervised checked by the veterinary doctor it's very important regularly checked by veterinary doctor next another in the dairy farm the holders may be dairy farm management holders is directly contact with the cows that if you directly we our hands is contact with the cows by milk taking time maybe that the cows are affected with the diseases infections that's why now here there is many mechanized tools will is there mechanized tools are installed in the dairy farming to collection of milk everything now machines is there to that with help of machines we collect the milk from the cow like that if a mechanized tools are introduced in the dairy farming this mechanized tools are helpful for avoid the direct contact to the cattle by the holders that's why it's very very important one cleanliness cleanliness is helpful to prevent the some diseases to the cattle and other it's very important and strictly cleanliness strictly cleanliness collection of milk time at the time of milk collection storage time and transported time so if we do like that steps we can get a good profit other whatever cattle are present in our house that cattle that is uh, regularly minimum maybe two days three days one time is bought with the brush if you do bought with the brush that is uh, prevent the infections to the cattle if we do like that if we follow these type of steps we can get good profit from the our dairy farm take this type of measures take this type of uh, steps in the dairy farming we can get a good profit in the dairy farm the cattle are affected with many diseases but if we compared with cows buffaloes highly resistant to the diseases that's why in india buffaloes are growing in the rural areas cows are low resistance if we compared with buffaloes and also buffaloes milk consists of high mineral content and high fat content you know already we discussed that previous now what diseases are commonly affected to the cattle what microbes are affected to the cattle one is 
वायरस वायरस सेकेंड इज बैक्टीरिया बैक्टीरिया थर्ड वन इज फंग दीज आर कॉमन माइक्रोब्स इज एफेक्टेड टू दी कैटी वायरसेस बैक्टीरिया फंगस what are the diseases are commonly seen in the cattle by viruses one is that's very important disease cowpox you know that is cowpox smallpox chickenpox are coming from the cowpox only it's a common similar viruses cowpox is a common viral disease in the cattle next one is render pest render pest render pest is the one of the viral disease in the cattle next foot and mouth disease foot and mouth disease foot and mouth disease that is small small rashes on the mouth foot that is cracks are appear everything is the viral disease in the cattle next another one is mad cow disease mad cow but it's not virus exactly it is caused by prions prions cow pox render pest foot and mouth disease mad cow disease it's caused by viruses you know what is the prions virus without nucleic acid that is called protein coat the protein coat only we called as prions you know first topic we discussed that anyway prions is causes mad cow disease viruses it is causes cow pox render pest foot and mouth disease these are the viral diseases in the cattle next next we will discuss bacterial diseases what type of uh, diseases is caused by bacteria one is main disease anthrax 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 is caused by bacteria next another one mastitis 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 anthrax mastitis another cattle plague cattle plague it's bacteria disease anthrax mastitis cattle plague is caused by bacteria fungal diseases fungus what are the fungal diseases commonly seen in the cattle one is aspergillosis aspergillosis you know aspergilla aspergilla is the one of the fungi aspergillosis is the disease next another one one is ringworm 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 in the cattle next one is candidiasis candid candid it's one of the fungus ointment is the candid ointment candidiasis it's a it's a control the fungal disorder is called candidiasis aspergillosis ringworm candidiasis is caused by fungus this type of microbes are commonly affected to the cattle cattle are suffered with the disease that's why in the in the dairy farm what type of breeds we are selecting that is a disease resistant varieties it's a resistant to the some diseases 
and also we are taking proper medicine after affected this disease that's why periodical supervision by veterinary doctor is very important in case in our daily form one cattle is affected that cattle immediately or isolate isolate means separate but why you are separating that it's prevent the spreading of diseases from one cattle to another that's why very very important once keep this disorders in the in our mind it's very important in the deep point of view this is what steps we are taking in the dairy farm what type of disorders are commonly seen in the cattle now we will discuss mainly what is the game what is the role of this dairy farming produce more amount of milk for the demand of the population milk is the very important it's a good nutrient good nutrient for that every person that's why in one supreme time before independence day our milk production is very low that's why our central government is started one of the programs that one of the program is called operation plant operation plant let's see the operation plant is leads to white revolution white revolution operation flood is leads to white revolution but sometimes we are commonly operation flood is also called as white revolution anyway the main aim or main goal of this operation flood or white revolution improve the milk improve milk increase the milk increase the amount of milk production that's why the first time in india central government is established one board that is nddb what is the nddb national dairy development board national dairy development board is established in gujarat what is the place what is the place anand anand the first time it's very famous place in gujarat milk milk production top most place in the country in the anand first time central government is established the nddb national dairy development board what is the duty of this board how, how can you improve the quality of breeds how can you produce more amount of milk research they are cross different breeds they produce different quality of breeds and these are nddb is one type of awareness is created in the society in the rural areas they produce more amount of milk with the scientific manner the first time who is the founder of this nddb that fella is called wargis wargis kurian wargis kurian wargis kurian is the founder of nddb that's why who is the father of white revolution in india wargis kurian it's very important who is the father of white revolution in india one is kurian anyway what is the main role main object to main aim of the white revolution or operation plan to improve the milk production to increase the production of milk its main goal or aim that's why now here it is india reach to the first position to increase the milk its the first position that much of milk is produced by effort of that research institutions in india with help of what revolution white revolution 